Bobby Wine has attacked President Museveni again and he has described him as a shameless man. OMG. Yes, Bobby Wine has attacked President Museveni again. This is the latest news. I'm bringing it to you right here on the Buzz UG. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. I am not fine. I'm having some cough and flu, but yeah, I'll be fine. I'm on medication. I'll be fine. Now, the latest news I have for you this morning is that uh, Bobby Wine has attacked President Museveni and he has described him as a shameless man. I think we have all heard about the claims that have been circulating on social media, suggesting that uh, the late Speaker of Parliament, that is a uh, Jacob Olanya, was poisoned. And I think it started with uh, Jacob Olanya's father called Lokori. Yes, uh, Mr. Lokori told the mourners at Jacob Olanya's ancestral home that is in Omoro district that his son was poisoned. And I think that is when the public jumped on this news after the father coming out uh, saying that, uh, you know, the son was poisoned and uh, the bloggers, uh, even other people, the public started, you know, circulating this whole story of uh, Jacob Olanya, the late, was poisoned. Now, yesterday uh, in Kololo, President Museveni said, I want to warn people who use the death of someone to do cheap politics. I have heard some people saying that Olanya was killed. We are coming for you. The police will come for you to help them because you seem to know what we don't know. We cannot go on with this in discipline. That is a President Museveni's statement right there. He said it yesterday at Kololo. So Bobby Wine says instead of uh, investigating the matter, but President Museveni is here threatening to arrest those who are talking about this issue. Bobby Wine says that uh, in a functioning state, this matter would be investigated transparently and independently, but Museveni is here threatening to arrest those raising the matter or those who are seriously talking about it. But I also have a question for President Museveni or for police. Is police going to arrest Jacob Olanya's father because he's among the first people who said that his son was poisoned. Yes. So is police going to arrest him as well? I think I need that question answered. <laughs> anyway, in other news, uh, the government of Uganda has confirmed that uh, Jacob Olanya died of cancer. Yes, it is Kasa that killed Jacob Olanya, not poison, as people have been circulating the news. Uh, the minister of ICT, that is uh, Chris Bariomosi, has confirmed it that, uh, you know, Mr. Jacob Olanya died of Kasa. But of course, a section of Ugandans are questioning that why did you take long to tell Ugandans? Why didn't you come out earlier on and uh, tell Ugandans that uh, the big man uh, died of Kasa? I mean, you're the reason why these claims of poison have been circulating on social media. But if you had come out earlier on and tell the public that the big man uh, died of cancer. You never know these claims of poison wouldn't have uh, you know, saturated on uh, different social media platforms and uh, that is according to a section of Ugandans. Yeah, so that is the latest I have for you right here and uh, it is up to you to take the side of poison or you take the side of cancer but at least the government of Uganda has officially confirmed it that uh, the big man died of cancer. I'll keep you posted in case anything else comes up. We are making 10k. Yes, Yes, we are making 10k anytime now and thank you so much for subscribing this is the buzz ug and in case you haven't subscribed kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications